Green Hell has a ton of ways to slow you down or kill you, most commonly through venom, parasites, worms or just plainly reducing your sanity. Hi, I'm Epark from Minigame Guides and in this guide I'll show you how to make short work out of all those pesky conditions. To start off you need to understand how to inspect your body. Now hold down C on your keyboard and choose the body inspection icon. Now the top radial menu will allow you to inspect each arm and leg separate. By clicking on the armor piece right next to it any banana leaf or armadillo armor you may be wearing will turn invisible. I would definitely advise to do this to check all four extremities each time that you find a magnifying glass in the bottom left corner. Now in addition, before we start running down how to cure each condition, I also am going to show you all the different kinds of dressings that you can make. So that way you already know how to make them when we go through them. Now let's get started with our rundown of all the conditions. Leeches are small worm-like animals. Now these will attach themselves to you at random times and feed on your blood. There is no way to prevent this. And it's a good idea to remove them sooner than later because they will reduce your sanity by one point for each leech that is attached to you. You will need to inspect your body as shown at the start of the video to find the location of all the leeches. Once you've found them, just click on each of them to pull them off. You can get a rash when coming into contact with aggressive insects such as a Brazilian wasp and ants. To prevent this from happening, it is best to avoid going too close to anthills or wasp's nests. Whenever you do want to collect resources from these uh, anthills or wasp nests, you can just light a torch because it will prevent the ants and wasps from attacking you. Now the rash will naturally heal over time, but to speed up the healing process you can place a lily or honey dressing on the wound. Insomnia is one of those conditions that you will rarely have, because you can only get this by delaying a night's rest and basically getting your energy from eating specific fruits and blue mushrooms. Now insomnia will drain your energy levels quickly and reduce your sanity drastically. To treat this as logically as it sounds, insomnia can only be fixed with a good night's rest in a bed. Parasites are probably a condition you've already had at one point during your green hell playthrough. Now you get these through consuming uncooked meat, drinking dirty or unsafe water or just plainly eating with dirty hands. Now you can clean yourself by walking up to a source of water, right clicking on it and choosing a wash yourself. Now parasites will increase the rate that you're burning through nutrients you have inside your body. To remove them you can eat the orange or blue mushrooms or the guanabana fruit. Lacerations are deep irregular tear-like wounds which will cause you to bleed. Now these are often the result of having an encounter with a jaguar or a puma. Now having a laceration will rapidly drain your health and if left untreated the wound will also become infected. Now a honey dressing or ash dressing will prevent an infection and heal the wound slowly. The fastest and most effective way to heal lacerations would be to use ants as stitches to close the wound. However this will cause pain and temporarily reduce your sanity. Scratches and abrasions are flesh wounds which are very similar to lacerations but not as severe. Scratches and abrasions are commonly caused by a fall from a height, combat with the natives or just walking over your own fire. And yes I've done that before. Just as with lacerations, you can heal this with a honey dressing or an ash dressing. A wound infection occurs when open wounds such as lacerations, scratches, worms and abrasions have just been left untreated. Now, treating wounds while dirty will also cause an infection possibly. Now, If a wound infection is just left untreated, it also may result in your early demise. Now, To cure an infection, you just need to place on the wound some maggots, which will eat any infected and dead flesh. Now this will cause a small amount of sanity loss while the dead tissue is being removed. Maggots can be found in rotting corpses or harvested from a spoiled meat. Once the wound has been cleaned by the maggots, you will still need to heal it by using an ash dressing or honey dressing on the wound to prevent any further infection and just heal it. You can get worms from sleeping on the ground or sleeping in beds which are really low to the ground. Now, worms will bury under your skin, just causing this large red bump. If they aren't removed quickly, they will drain your sanity and cause you to go insane. To remove them, you just need to use a bone needle or a fish bone, which you can get from the harvesting of a fish. Afterwards, you need to treat the wound with another dressing, like an ash dressing or a honey dressing. 
Food poisoning is a status where you will lose valuable nutrients and fluids through vomiting. Now you'll continue to vomit until they have been cured or when the sickness has run its course. Now you can get food poisoning by eating spoiled food or specific types of food. Now, food poisoning can be naturally fought off by the body over time or by sleeping. However, if you have huge amounts of food poisoning for whichever reason, that can lead to death. So for this reason, you can fix it easily by just eating a soup infused with bone or just some charcoal. Fever will cause you to dehydrate faster and reduce your sanity and your energy levels. Now, fever is always a condition you have that results because you are suffering from a venom wound or an infection or a food poisoning. And when these are resolved, the fever will pass over time. But the recovery time can be shortened by sleeping or consuming painkillers or the quassia amara flower, which is basically just boiling some water with these flowers inside. You can get a venom wound from various animals like the two types of spiders, the rattlesnakes, the stingrays, the scorpions, and just picking up a poison dart frog. When you have suffered one of these wounds, you will see an icon pop up in the bottom left corner. Now, For small amounts of the poison, like from the stingray, the poison will disperse over time, but larger doses will rapidly affect the player and kill you quite quickly. So in that case, you need to act quickly by treating the wound with one of these. Last but not least, the sanity system plays a major role in Green Hell. You start off with 100% of sanity, but when reduced to 50, you will start hearing a voice often yelling demotivating criticism and insults. When your sanity reaches zero, hallucinations in the form of hostile natives will appear. They will attack you continuously and can cause you real harm. You may also see items that aren't really there and will disperse in yellow smoke when you try to interact with them. Your sanity can be reduced for a number of reasons, often one of the conditions we have already talked about or the consummation of certain foods like insects, human flesh or poison dart frog. To increase your sanity you will just want to sleep in a bed, sit by lit fires and consume cooked meat, calming herbs and modern food like candy bars and bags of chips. But now you know everything you need to know to heal all kinds of conditions and wounds. But you may still want to know a lot more about how to get food, clean water, equipment locations. So be sure to check this playlist out to thrive and survive in Green Hell. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.